wait, wait, this is not clickbait. This is actually the car that is in the thumbnail. And a couple of weeks later, the junkyard buzzes came down and swooped and started picking this apart, including myself. Some of the car parts went down to my man Daniel down in New Mexico. And for a special treat, we got two Lincoln Town cars in this video. So stay tuned. Ooh. Yo, welcome back to the BST4 channel. Wing, that's what's going on. What's happening today, man? We're back at the junkyard and looking at some Panther stuff. We're making the switch from Mustangs to Panthers today. Got to look for some stuff, little doodads. You know what I mean? This one here, sitting here, ready to be on the chopping block, man. So I'm over here just trying to see what I can grab before they break it apart. You know what I mean? It could be for free. First thing I noticed, they got some good springs in there, but I don't need those. So I'm just being nosy at the moment and bringing y'all along with me. See this fan here. That's a no-no. So we're gonna move that to the side and put that in another car. You know what I mean? That's what we kind of do. But we don't want to crush everything. So what they do, they get busy. I mean, whoo, this is a mess. You know what I mean? Somebody got the, um, those, took those out already. Some other stuff, I mean, there is really nothing left, but you know, we're just being nosy. Y'all just coming along with me. Other than that, the front end of this thing. Ah, see these? This is, these are good. It's not bad, but nothing. Wow, man, they, boy, they break it all down, don't they? Sheesh. Let's go around the other side and see what is up. Yeah, see what's up over here. Eh, ain't much of nothing over there. Nothing. Yeah, yep, yep. Took the front suspension off, which is a good thing. And the windshield was probably good. It was, probably. And they just yank it all apart. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Engine harness was probably good on it, but, you know, there ain't nothing in here. So we're going to go and look at some other ones. But this one here, man, woo, this one is beat. Now this one here sitting here, well, there's a little bit of pieces on it, but it's a 01. Don't need much of it. Only thing I could probably use is maybe the computer, maybe. Fenders are still good, obviously. A um, couple of engine pieces I could probably use, but not too much of anything I can use on this car, man. There is something particularly I'm looking at. Windshield. I got to keep windshields in stock, man, because um, a lot of things are going to be going on. I need a windshield. For real. See what else is in here. Nothing much. Man, these guys. Oh man, you guys, boy. That's the old style. That's the ones that we can't use. That's why I said there's really not much in here I can use out of this car. Nothing. There's nothing in here useful at all. Just the windshield. Nothing else. But um, just move on to the next one. Now this is the body style that I really enjoy and like because when you lower it, it looks dope. It has a lot of good pieces on it. The grill is good, the hood is good, the two fenders are good, the bumper is good. Now in the engine bay, obviously when they come to the junkyard, they take a lot of things out. And one of the things they take out is the alternator and the radiator. Those are the things they take out right away. But they left all of the Excel, um, COPs to be exact. Yep, these are Excel. Legit ones, you know what I mean? Even though the Motocraft ones will suffice, but everything is there on this car. And on this one, pretty much the same thing. Now this one was a taxi. They did the same thing. What they do is they take out the radiator and then they take out the alternator. And then you go about your business and take whatever else you, that you need. Now, for the most part, the bumper is in so-so shape. Now the headlights are pretty decent. The hood is decent. The grill is like so-so up top there. It's all right. Now, for as far as the body, guess what? It's a Lincoln L. Now, this thing is long. Long, 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 long. All right, the door, eh, it's not that great, but as you can see, man, that thing is grande versus um, the regular size town car. Now, as far as interior, well, this one has a better styling interior, but it is dirty. Got Wawa cups, dirt. Everything is inside there. And you come over on this side. Look, see that fan? Yeah, very important, man. But the seats are good in here. Look at cigarette in there. Look at all that room. Lincoln L is the way to go. Now, when you go on this one over here, this one has the gray interior. Typical, you know what I mean? 
It looks decent. I mean, junkyard style, but this one was sitting in somebody's house, obviously. You come back here, obviously, you know what it is. There's another fan there, right? The interior's still there. Seats ain't ripped and everything like that. It's pretty dope. Well, you can tell that's a regular size body style versus that big window that's right there. Two different sizes. Now, when you go in the trunk, this trunk is actually smaller than the trunk that's over there. Obviously, you can see that. This one is smaller. But, nevertheless, man, these cars here are really dope. You go inside this one here. I just don't like the interior and steering wheel on this model. I do like the steering wheel on the other model that's right over there. But, nevertheless, I would still drive it anyway. Still love the body style. These cars are actually still doable. But obviously I can't get cars to drive them home or anything like that. They're worth more money in parts. They won't sell me the cars. So, in the comment below, man, please tell me which one you prefer. Gotta leave the comment below, man. Very important. But um, you guys gotta let me know in the comments, man, what Lincoln Town car you guys prefer. This is a 02, right? It ain't much of anything that we can take off of this thing here. Um, I mean... Uh, not much of nothing, bro. I mean, uh, maybe the ECU, maybe? Um, is it? Yeah, it's still in there. See, nobody want to take those EC out, ECUs out of these cars because, you know, it takes a little bit of effort. It's not like the other style or the new modern ones where the ECU is sitting right there in the corner. This one here, you got to put some effort. You got to take your behind, go up underneath there and take some screws out, blah, blah, blah. It's not an easy task. Each one of those older versions man don't have them in there let's see there see this one there's still there nobody takes them out other than that man the windshield on this is no good doors are good fenders are no good um front face is no good nope yeah this fender is no good the wire right there is good but the doors is good what we're gonna do man we got to get back home to the other car all right, man, we are home, and man, remember, I took out that dash in this car here, right? So, when I took the dash out, the steering column drew. What we're going to do is we got to weld the bar across, and I'm not putting another dash in here, all right? I'm going to probably make something, you know, try to fabricate something just to have fun, you know what I mean? Don't really need to fabricate, but I am. So, we're going to put something in there. So, first thing, the order of business is that we're going to weld the bar across there so we can have this steering column sitting tight. And then a little bit after that, we're going to take the seats out. And after we take the seats out, we're going to find some money. I'm sure of it. So, when we found some money, cool. We put that aside. Then we get right back into it. And then after we got things underway, I found some pieces of metal and we got the metal in there situated and we're looking good with the metal weld the thing across there and this is the best that we can do at the moment and we got it looking pretty decent man so obviously we jacked the car up and the engine is rocking because there is no transmission in it yank that out also so what we're trying to do right we're trying to finish a thought and the thought is to make this thing a five speed now i'm gonna keep you guys up to speed with this car here man so what we did we ran a um, 96 Cobra fuel line, or oh, fuel rail actually, I should say. Man, I had to customize it and put it on there, man, and it fits. You know what I mean? I didn't test it out yet for leaks or anything like that, because I know if I start getting into this, man, it'd just be another long story. So anyway, what we got going on in is this is um the return this is the one that you can make yourself in your garage or whatever like this and this one here is like a nascar situation as you can see the ends are crimped looking really nice so this is legit and we got it um right here man i should have did this better some kind of way but this is what we're working with right now and um yeah I want to start it up, but I'm not in the mood, man. I'm trying to stay focused on the other cars that's over there because it's a must. What we're trying to do is we're trying to finish a thought. Why throw away the car? This, that, and the third. I was flip-flopping, trying to figure out what I was going to do with the car, and I'm doing this car, and I'm doing the Mustang over there, and I'm doing the other car over there. It's too many cars. I should have just had one car. Trust me, we ain't forget about this car here either, man. The reason why I got to reroute the turbo hot side of this whole thing it's a must. It's scraping. It's doing all types of stuff. If it's a hole in it, the turbo won't even be 
you know, it'd be worthless, man. So we're going to be getting that little Mustang over there, getting that going. And, man, we're going to keep you guys really up to date with everything. And I want to tell you something. Thank you guys for staying with me on this little journey here. I know you got other options out there and there's plenty of other panther platform shows out there man and guys doing their thing man please go out there and support them they're all dope they're all cool it's just the fact that we're just everyday guys with a very low budget you know me i'm below budget can't really get things off and going but we're going to make things work out man some way somehow Thank you guys for watching this episode of Build Something TV, man. Hope you guys were enlightened. Hopefully on the next video with this, we're going to slap this dag on five speed in there. All right, we're going to get this thing underway. Get this thing running on its own power and get that Mustang rocking and get that rocking and get that thing over there rocking. And we'll see you guys on the next one, man. All right, later.